Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome to Wood and Weather, a god game set in a wooden toy city. And as the god of that city we have the power to interact with things, so we can nip down into the city, we can have a chat with the people there, we can pick up items and move them around, and also we can control the weather, as the name of the game would imply. And by doing so we can help people complete little goals, like sort of little mini quest type things. So there might be somebody there who says, I really want to build a snowman. And if it's the middle of the summer, if it's in the middle of a blazing heatwave, that's going to be a little bit of a problem but we can use our amazing godly powers to make it all wintry and snowy and that person's going to be all happy because they can then go and build their snowman i think that's kind of how the game pans out we just use our weather powers to try to make people a bit happy which i do like the sound of and it looks very good as well it looks like a kind of great big kids playset thing lots of sort of wooden buildings and little kind of wooden people hopping about it does look very adorable now this is the demo of the game currently there is no word on whether the full game is coming out on steam there's no date yet but the demo is on Steam right now as I record this. As always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description, so you can go and check the game out, and also have a little go at the demo if you would like to. But here we go, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's jump right in and do some godding. Okay, here we go, and we have somebody called Zoltan in front of us, just kind of, you know, hopping around the place like a little wooden toy. It's all very adorable. I like your hat, Zoltan. That's a very, very good hat. I do like that. It's quite a pointy hat with a big star on the top. That's very impressive. You're also wearing a fake beard by the look of it. Can you turn around a minute, Zoltan? Yeah, there we go. You're wearing a clearly fake beard. We can see that it's a fake beard because the string or elastic or whatever it is that's holding it on is kind of going around the back of your hat and we can clearly see it. And also, the beard has a moustache, and the moustache is kind of above your eyes, Zoltan. Why are you wearing a fake beard, Zoltan? Are you trying to be sort of all impressive? Are you trying to be sort of wizardy, possibly? You are called Zoltan, so maybe you're trying to be wizardy with a fake beard. I don't know, but okay, so hello, Zoltan, and Zoltan is saying, oh dear, oh dear, so I assume Zoltan is in a spot of bother, but don't worry, Zoltan, I imagine we'll try to help you out. I was trying out my new spell to be able to predict the weather. Okie doke, but the experiment went wrong and I ended up trapping all of the weather in this contraption. Okay, so you trapped all of the weather. So what's the weather like now, Zoltan? What's it like in the sky and around us if you've trapped all of the weather? If there is no weather, what's happening around us? I don't quite understand that. How can there be no weather? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, right, we'll try to help you. And for the life of me, I can't seem to get it back out. Okay, I can see that being a little bit of a problem. I fear we might never have any weather again. How can there be no weather, Zoltan? Surely there always has to be weather of some kind. How can there be no weather? What's it like in the sky right now? Can we have a look? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, are we going to go and look in the sky? Uh, oh, okay, some mysterious stuff. That was like a, a gust of wind. Ah, I think that's us. That is us. Look at that. We're a kind of mysterious blue hand type thing. And there we are. Okay. Hello, Zoltan. Hi. How are you? Um, okay. So there's the city. So hold that to move. Ooh. Hang on. So we can... Oh. We can go... Okay. We're far away. And we're quite near. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay. So we can look around a little bit. Look. So we can kind of uh, fly about the city and look around. I mean, there is an obvious lever there. I kind of feel like we should possibly go and pull that lever, but okay, let's descend down here. Can we have a chat with... Ah, yeah, there you go. We can have a chat with uh, with Zoltan. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, talk to. Hello, hang on. Right click, is it? Hello, did you just come out of my magical contraption? Fascinating. Your moustache is absolutely incredible, Zoltan. <laughs> that thing is wonderful. I mean, I don't know how you're going to see or anything, but that is amazing. Uh, yeah, fascinating. Hello, my name is Zoltan, and I am a magical wizard. Okay, it's good you're a magical wizard. I like meeting those. Non-magical wizards are always a bit disappointing. Can you help me fix my contraption? Possibly. We'll give it a go. It's very important that I release the weather trapped inside. Yes, it is. Because I don't understand how there can be no weather. Try giving that lever up there a pull. Okay. So we have to go up there and pull that lever. Uh, okie doke. Yep, I'll try. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, okay. The game thought about it for a moment. Um, okay. So grab. Ah, there we go. So our hand turns into a sort of a grabby hand, and then we just sort of pull it that way. Okay. Oh, things are happening. Things are happening. The machine is machining. Um, okay. No, that didn't work, says Zoltan. You look very happy, Zoltan. You should possibly look a little bit more trouble, but okay. Well, I'm all out of ideas. If only I had some more inspiration. Oh, and it's a little kind of smiley face. You see, inspiration is what gives my magic its power. 
It can come from anywhere if you know where to look. Okay, ah, right, so there's a person with a little light bulb above their head. Uh, are we supposed to now go and help them? Give me inspiration and perhaps I can release the weather. Okie doke. Right, okay, so now we can, oh, okay, we can rotate the camera like that and we can move about as well with the, um, the sort of your regular cursor keys and stuff. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Look, that's the city. And yeah, it is a classic sort of wooden block city. We've got lots of these in our house. Love playing with the building blocks. Uh, yeah, there's quite a lot going on. There's something down there. But okay, I suppose right now we have to kind of get the weather out. So um, yeah, okay, let's try and get a bit closer to you. Um, oh, hang on, what? Oh, <laughs> okay, look, that's us. We're kind of walking around. Our little hand, it, we've kind of given ourselves little tiny feet. We've got little legs going on. That's amazing. Oh, look at us. Oh, we can walk the walk. Look at that. Is there a cat walk around? Because my goodness me, we've got moves. Okay, that's brilliant. That, that is fantastic. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to go and have a chat with this person, but we're going to do it while we're on the floor because that's brilliant. Hello. Hi, look, we're a mysterious walkie god hand. How are you? Let's talk to you. Uh, so Elizabeth, hello Elizabeth, says, I was flying my kite when all of a sudden the wind died. Okay, the kite fell right into this tree. Could you get it out for me? I'm sure we could give it a go, Elizabeth. Okie dokie. Um, okay, there is a minor bit of lag after we... Uh, yeah, okay, there's a bit of a lag after that. When we say yes or something to a person, it does seem to sort of freeze a little bit. Okay, well, hang on a minute. Yes, Elizabeth, we are going to help you. I just don't know how right now. Um, but yeah, hang on a minute. We'll do some godly stuff. I'm doing some very important godly stuff right now, Elizabeth. Um, and then when we've done that, we'll get right back with you. Hang on a second. Let me just kind of click enough buttons and hope that we can figure out how to move away from this screen. Oh, there we go. There we go. We did it. I don't know how. I just you know, pressed the button a lot. Right. There's the kite up in that tree. So we need to go like this and then go there, grab the kite, pull it out of the tree and then give it back to Elizabeth. There you go. I still can't fly it, but thanks. Okay. Ah, now, of course, yeah, you need wind to do that. So possibly, if we can get enough inspiration from Magical Chappie, maybe he could get the wind out of the machine, the wind, the, yeah, the weather that he's stuck away in that machine, and then you could fly your kite. Maybe that's what we can do. Okay, so we've done that. You're an inspiration. One out of four. Okay. So does that mean there are three other things we need to go and do now? Are there three other things? But there we go, we've gathered some stuff and we have 20 lovely happy inspiration points and Zoltan says, great, you helped someone out and collected inspiration. Just a little bit more and we should have enough. Okie doke, so now we need to go look for somebody else to. When you need some more inspiration, it's a good idea to jot things down. That's what I invented, the compendium. Oh, a compendium. I like a good compendium. In the compendium, you can collect inspiration from everything you find and everyone you meet. Okay, you can open the compendium at any time by pressing tab. Why don't you collect some inspiration from the compendium? I'll wait here. Okay, right, so now we can press tab to open that. Okie dokie, right, so what do you do? Kite, flies in the sky, ah, right, city stuff. Okay, so, uh, don't know what that is, a building a ball possibly that's a car that i don't know what that is not quite sure what that is that looks like a kind of a traffic cone that's a little van oh hang on it tells you a tool used to retrieve curiosities from water oh, like a fishing rod okay so if we click that collect inspiration so we get one inspiration from that okay okay hang on and then we've met ah we get inspiration from the people we've met Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, there are some wonderful people. Okay, so we're going to collect inspiration from Zoltan. So that gets up to 26. That's quite good. Set as best friend. Zoltan, you're our best friend. Yes, you get a shiny star, Zoltan. And then Elizabeth, there we go. So we'll do that. Grab some inspiration from you. And there we go up to 31. Right. Okay, that's good. Elizabeth Rose Hoke enjoys cold drinks when it's hot and hot drinks when it's cold. Oh, you rebel. And then Zoltan, a magical inventor of contraptions. Okie doke. So that's some rubbish. That's city stuff. That's food and drink. And that is nature. Okay. So there's quite a lot of things to go and find. But yeah, one out of four kind of light bulby things. Okie doke. So now we have to go and look for that, should we? Oh, hang on. That should be enough to get the contraption running. Try pulling the lever again. Okay, we can do that. Hang on a second. Way there. Uh, we'll just go and do this again. So, um, yeah, go a bit closer 
and grabity grab, hoik that lever to the side, machine does machiney things. Oh, use the mouse to select weather tokens. Oh, we can unlock weather, but we haven't got 35 uh, inspiration points. So we can't unlock rain and we can't unlock snow, but we can unlock sunny weather. Okay, yeah, we'll have that, please. So now, oh, there we go. Everything's come back to life. It looks all vibrant and colorful and sunny. Oh, that's much better. That looks much better. It's all sort of, it's not gray anymore. It's all looks sort of, you know, lived in and lovely and happy. And Zoltan says, it worked. Some of the weather is back. I mean, yeah, not all of it, but at least it's quite lovely and sunny out there. It's not kind of, you know, terrible and bleak and gray anymore. You do appear to have a little sort of, I don't know what that is, a drink possibly floating in front of you. I don't know what that is, but okay, you've got a lovely kind of little accessory going on. That's quite nice. As you can see, there is plenty more weather to discover. And there is a whole world of inspiration out there to make it happen. However, you are only playing the demo of wood and weather, of course. In this demo, there are only three weather states. The full game will have many more. Oh, that's fine. Three is good. If it's going to be sunny, snowy, and, I don't know, rainy or whatever, that's fine by me, Zoltan. And right now, you only have access to a small portion of the full game world. Yep, yeah, okay, but that's fine. That's a demo. Please await the full release of Wood and Weather to see everything we've made for you. But for now, go out and see what you can find. Okie doke. So now we can go and play with the world. So somebody over there has got a bit of a crashed van by the look of it. Um, right, okay, so we need to get 35 more inspiration points and then we can unlock another weather type. I think that's what we have to do. So I mean, yeah, now we just sort of have free reign to go and look around, do we? So what can we do? Can we, I mean, let's go and help this chappy down here. Oh, it's exciting over there. There's a little, I mean, okay, possibly, do we need to sort the traffic out? Do we have some traffic management issues? Uh, let's grab that. Car added to compendium. Um, we're going to move the car out of the way. Hang on, lift it, li lift up a bit. We're going to put the car over there. That, that's now a new parking space for the car. There we go. That's kind of out of the way now. And also, oh, hang on. There's that big ball thing. That, the beach ball, that was something that was in the compendium. Which gives us, of course free thingamajigs gives us free inspiration points so now we can go to here and we can get inspiration from that that was just the one point but that's okay and i think maybe just one from the car as well but there we go up to eight okay so plenty of other things for us to go and discover um i mean there's a thing there can we grab can we grab the trees uh oh yeah we cut a bush okay so we can sort of you know, do some landscaping okay put that back down there there are some little kind of birds as well. Can we... Oh, that's a big... Oh, oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Put that back down. <laughs> oh, but it's a tree. It counts. Okay. And a little flower. Golden Everlasting added to Compendium. I think that person might have just seen what we were doing. Um, Hang on. Can we go on the ground and say hello? Hello. Hi. Can we talk to you? Hey, says Aqua with amazing hair. Oh, you're like some kind of hand. I mean, you are right. You're not wrong there. So what's your deal? You fly around and bother people. Yeah, I, I, that's quite an accurate description, I suppose. So whatever. I'm not really interested anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, now we're in that weird situation where I have to click lots of times. Oh, there you go. I'm just going to click a lot and then it goes away. Um, It's gone to night time, which I suppose is good. Um, Talk to. Are you a person to talk to? Uh, Clementine. Okay, hello. Lots of dot, dot, dots. Dot, 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 dot. Um, okay. Uh, was that Morse code or something? I'm not quite sure. I do not know. I love the fact that we can walk around. Yeah, the traffic here does need a little bit of work. The traffic systems here are potentially, potentially a little bit hazardous. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of a bit of a traffic jam going on there, but okie dokie, never mind. Um, we can grab, hang on, do we have to go back up in the sky? Yeah, can we grab that tram? Can we move that out the way? Oh, we pick it up via the thing at the top. Oh, that's brilliant. Hang on, can we can we then zoom out with it? Oh, there's a car stuck on the front of it. That would be the issue. Um, okay, hang on a minute, hang on. So can we, can we pull it? We can't, oh crikey. Yeah, the car is stuck on the front. If we pull that back there, look. That car is very determined to get to where it needs to go. <laughs> they're off. They're off down to the shop and that's where they're going. Okay. Right. Leave that there. Okay. Oh, little traffic cone. That was in the compendium. There we go. Traffic cone. Right. Plenty in here to unlock now. So, um, okay. Golden everlasting. Little plant grows on grass. One thing from there. And a tree. Okay. Pretty good. And then, oh, hang on. 
There's one more thing. Oh, there you go, in a bush. Okay, there's loads of fish and various other things. Uh, okay, and then we got the traffic cone. So that's quite good. And then we met two new people. We met Clementine, or Clementine, the living statue. Born with naturally reflective skin and excels in standing very still. Okay, so we'll get some stuff from you. That's up to, what's that, 17. That's quite good. And then Aqua, the punk, enjoys listening to music genres you probably haven't heard of. I mean, I'm quite old now. I've not heard of hardly any of the new things. Uh, right, there we go. Up to 22. So we've nearly unlocked another weather by just going and looking around. I like that. I like that about this game. There's just, you know, stuff to go and find and interact with. Uh, where was that person? Where was the person that needed our help? Whereabouts are they? Hang on a minute. Hang on. I've kind of lost track of, uh, of where they might be. Oh, hang on. There's something very mysterious there. Well, no, I don't want to go there. What's that? There's a mysterious jar vase thing. It, it's got sparklies on it. Can we drop it? Okay. Right, okay, we possibly broke that. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. I don't think anybody saw. I, I, is there anybody around? I, okay, Clementine might have seen, but they're like a statue. So hopefully nobody saw that. Everything's fine. It was kind of sparkling. It was sparkling. Um... Okay, never mind. Right, we're just gonna we're just gonna move on from that. We're just gonna move on. Everything everything's fine. It's all okay. Um, right. Okay. Can we grab that? Can we grab the uh, street light things? No. Okay. So what else can we sort of interact with? We can interact with the cars. Oh. Oh, hang on. There's a handle. There's a handle at the top of that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So that just. Oh. I see. So that turns it between day and night, does it? So we can keep turning that. And then it can be daytime. Oh, okay, so if you don't want to play at nighttime, you can just make it daytime again. Oh, I quite like that. That's quite good. That's quite a fun thing. Um, okay, right, let's try and find the person that we're supposed to help. Because there was a person, there was a van, wasn't there? So where is the person and their van? Oh, they're over there. They're over there. Okay, right. So what's happened down here? Hang on a minute, hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna land and have a chat with you. I want a bit there we go. I want to go into walkie legs. Hello. Right. Talk to you. Hello, how are you? So Lars says, oh great, hey, can you help move my van? I'm Lars. Hi Lars, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. I just need it across the other side of the road. I'll meet you there. Okay. Right, so now we need to help Lars out by picking up his van and then just moving it across to the other side of the road. That's okay. Okay, it is quite heavy to move his van. It's taking a little while to get it done, but there we go. You know, I might actually keep going a bit. Can I get the van off you at the alleyway? Um, where's the alleyway? Lars, where's the alleyway? Hang on a minute, hang on. Lars, <laughs> hold on a second. Hang on a minute, hang on. You've made us crash your van into a tree. I hope you're insured, Lars. Right, um, just keep trying to drag it there. Home stretch now. Since you've already come this far, would you mind taking it the rest of the way? Okay, I kind of feel like you're abusing our magical god powers, Lars, but okay, just over here. I'll lead the way. Okie doke. So just keep dragging this thing. Okay, I ran over Lars a bit there, but you know, he sort of did ask for it a little bit. Right, move this out of the way. There you go. Do you know what I've done? This is classic. You're actually going to laugh. Are we, Lars? I can't laugh. I haven't got, you know, like a mouth or vocal cords or lungs or anything. I'm just a hand, Lars. You'll think it's funny, I reckon. Uh, this fully isn't my van. Look, thanks for your help anyway. The van is yours. Not literally. It's definitely not my van to give, but like spiritually. Okay. <laughs> Lars, I quite like you, Lars. That was quite good fun. And two out of four inspirations done. And we should get a great big pile of inspiration points. We're on 42. We can unlock another thing. Okay, that's exciting. However, we do also have some things in here to grab. So now we've got out of the vase. Oh, it says priceless. It says priceless and we broke it. Okay, we'll have one point from that and one point from the van. I mean, really, I don't know what that is. And a fishing rod. Could we get all eight things from the city before we go and change the weather? Can we get all eight things? Um, is it over here somewhere? Is it, oh, there's like a little sort of allotment type thing. That's quite fun. Um, is it over there? There's, um, is it one of those things we're supposed to pick up and grab? Oh, hang on. There's a... Um, sorry, I'm going to put it back in a minute. Tomato added to compendium. Uh, give... 
There you go. I'm going to give you a tomato. It's yours. Like I'm doing pointy. Oh, okay. We'll talk to you while we're here. Hello, Birch. Thanks for helping out with the veggie patch. Uh, I, I was inadvertent help, but okay. Pleasure. Those tomatoes are like to grow when it's sunny. When it's sunny, you can also find golden everlasting flowers growing around the park at the other end of town. Ah, I see. So different flowers are going to grow at different times in different weathers. Okie dokie. Right, I see. Um, right, okay, let's go and grab those then. So we'll grab that, the first kind of bit of food and drink we found, and then Birch is the flower friend. Okay, so we get some stuff from you. And then Lars, the engineer, an expert at building large things. Okay, so get some more from you, up to 55. That's quite good. Um, okay, do you know what then? Let's grab the thing and hoik that. And yep, there we go. So what do we choose? either a bit rainy or a bit snowy i mean we've had sun let's go for a bit of rain shall we to, you know water the vegetable patch and that kind of stuff and then we'll go for snow because the snow is going to be fun we're going to build snowmen and it's going to be lovely so let's get some rain oh drizzle okay so a little bit drizzly not you know not terrible but you might need a little bit of a waterproof and an umbrella possibly right so different flowers are going to grow i think it said um, yeah, so now we need another 15 points to get the final weather type. That's okay. Um, and look, there are puddles. There are proper puddles forming. That's quite good. Uh, so, in order to find all the city bits and bobs, what did we need again? Uh, where was it? There. So, an appliance found on buildings in very hot weather and, yeah, like a fishing rod. An appliance found on buildings in very hot weather. Ooh. Hang on. There's the fishing rod. Um, okay, the other thing is going to be an air conditioning unit, I imagine. Um, is it? A, ah, but it's not very hot weather. Uh, is it that? Is it a thing there? A thing on buildings in very hot weather. But yeah, we've changed the weather. So maybe, maybe it's now not going to be a thing that we can find. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's go and help you out down here, because then we might be able to get the fishing rod. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. Go down to ground level. Come on, come on. Go, hang on, like that. Proper. There we go. Right. Oh, hang on. Stood in the river. Uh, let's have a chat to you. So, hello, Tex. Good hat, Tex. After a fish, you can borrow my fishing rod if you'd like. Okay. So, now we've got Tex and... Uh, okay, take. Do we, do we just take the fishing rod? I don't know how we take the fishing rod. Tex, how do we take the fishing rod? After a fish, you can borrow my fishing rod if you'd like. Uh, I'm just going to keep clicking the button. Okay. So how do we... Oh, hang on. I'm talking to you again. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Lots of clicking. So take. Oh, hang on. It's coming up with the same thing. Take is... I am trying. Maybe we can't take it if we're on the ground. Maybe we have to do some flying and grab it. Ah, there we go. Right. So we've got the fishing rod. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know what to do with it exactly. I'm just going to put it down for a second. So then we can claim that, which is good. And then also, we've had a chat with Tex. Uh, there you go. Tex is up the fishing cowboy. Okay. But you do have a thing above your head, Tex. So if we talk to you now, after a fish, you can borrow my fishing rod. I lost the fishing rod. Oh, okay. Yeah, I lost the fishing rod. You what? Oh, that's okay. I've got another one. Here you go. Oh, Tex, you're adorable. Oh, thanks. I, it was only over there. It was just over here. I hadn't really lost it. Maybe we can't do his mission thing in the rain. Maybe we need to go and change the weather, possibly. Um, and yeah, what was the other thing again? What was the other town thing? An appliance found on buildings in very hot weather. That's got to be an air conditioning unit of some sort, but I just can't seem to see where one might be. Where would one of those be? Because it's going to be a thing we have to kind of grab and interact with. I just can't see where such a thing might be found. Uh, unless we do have to make it hot. Maybe we have to make it hot and those things will appear. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's make it go back to hot weather, please. Right, I'm using my god powers. Well, not really using my god powers. I'm using machine powers. But there we go. So, nice and sunny. Let's have a chat with Tex. Because now he might have a little mission for us in the sun. Okay, so talk to you. Uh, after a fish, you can borrow my fishing rod. Okay. 
Right. Ah, I wonder if his mission thing kicks into life when it's all cold because maybe the streams are frozen over so he can't fish. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, right, let's try and find this um, mysterious sort of air conditioning unit thing that may or may... Ah, there. That's it there, isn't it? Is that it? Yes, there we go. Aircon unit. Okay, we'll put that back down. So now, I think we've got eight out of eight for city stuff. So we've got everything there. There is some rubbish. A weathered curiosity often lost in waterways. That's intriguing. And we've got one... We've got one, two, three, four, five, six more people to meet. I mean, that's clearly a snowman, isn't it? We're, that's obviously a snowman. Um, and then, yeah, quite a few nature things to find, including a number of different fish. Um, and I assume that's, that's going to be a snowball, a cold box you can see through. That's like an ice cube, a small animal that comes out when it's wet. Oh, OK. Maybe we need to go and make it rain again. Um, and yeah, there's things down there as well, look. Lots of little things down there. Right, let's go make it rain. Because we haven't done that weather properly, I don't think. So right, here we go. Hoik that over. Let's make it a bit drizzly. Sorry, everybody. I do apologise. Right, so, bit of drizzle. Now, what can we do? Uh, what have we got? 27 out of 35. I did notice, how far up here can we go? Because there's a different flower there. There's a blue flower. Ah, a blue petite. Okay, that's a new type of flower. What's that? There's something there. I know what that is. Grab that. A snail. Oh, 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 hang on. Snail. No, hang on. I'm going to put you back upright. Okay, I'm having some technical difficulties with the snail. Uh, oh, hang on. We're going to put the snail down uh, there. Please be the right way. Yay, the snail's the right way up. Okay, I don't feel so bad now. Um, okay, so you, we've talked to you. We've talked to you. Can we talk to you? Have we spoken to you before? Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Oh, hey. <gasps> You've got a bee. You've got a bee friend. Look, your bee friend just sort of there hovering next to you. And now some people are shoving him out of the way. Oh, come on. Just say excuse me. Charlie says, oh, hey, my name is Charlie. Nice to meet you. I'm the town's resident beekeeper. Charlie, me and you are going to get on just fine. I like bees. Bees are the best animal. We all know this. So, yeah, okay. We're going to be good buddies, Charlie. Mind you don't swat any of my little friends with that big hand of yours. I wouldn't dare, Charlie. I wouldn't dare. Okay, Charlie added to the compendium. Uh, can we talk to you? Oh, it's Lars. Oh, hi, Lars. <laughs> um, I don't just drive vans, by the way. I'm also a builder. I build all sorts of things. But since it's only a demo, not the full game, you'll have to take my word for it. Okay, Lars. I believe you. I believe what you're saying. Um, you? Do we need to talk to you? Okay, the camera hasn't done us any favours there. But okay, Robin says, yeah. So, I heard some water call a chat about a blue hand making the rounds. And I'm supposing that's you. I would imagine so. I'd be surprised if there was another blue hand floating around. Nice to e-meet you. You should have me on LinkedIn. I don't think so. Just search for Robin Debre. Okay. Um... Right, so Robin has now been added. Okay, so yeah, we're adding a few extra people. This is good. Um, have we spoken to you? Uh, oh, it's Elizabeth. Haha, -ha, hello. Thanks for helping with my kite earlier. The wind has picked up, did you see? But that kite flying has made me thirsty for a drink. Okay. Uh, would you like a drink? I can get you a drink. I possibly can. Let's have a chat with you. Uh, Terry, how's it going? Whoa, are you supposed to be here? There's something different about you. I can't really put my finger on it. Finger. Fingers? Oh, I see. You're a hand. Like a full-on hand and not a person. Oh, well done, Terry. Very astute. Cool. I'm Terry, by the way. Catch you round. Okay. Right. So, yeah, we're meeting a fair few people. This is wonderful. I think, actually, hang on. With all the people that we've now met, we possibly could unlock the cold weather thing. So, that's 32. And then I think if we go down a bit more, Robin, business person, Terry, the ball enthusiast, okay, you know, um, and then go to here. So we've got a snail and we got a little blue flower, which is wonderful. OK, so I'm 44. So we should now be able to come over here and unlock the thing. Yeah, we're going to do that. Hang on a minute. Right. So grab that, pull that over. And let's get chilly. Here we go. Unlock the weather. Some light snow. And I imagine, yes, that's going to now trigger the 
um, chappy down at the river because he can't fish. Ah, and also over there at the allotment type thing. Okie doke. Okie doke. Right, so let's go and help you out because, yeah, now you can't fish, look. Now you can't fish. Okay, talk to you. Can't fish right now. The water has frozen over, but it'll melt again eventually. Always does. Okay, so do you now want us to make it sunny? Because then that'll be good. Okay, we'll do that in a moment. And then over here, you also wanted some help. Okay, so let's talk to you. So there's Ritu. So much snow about. I'm actually an expert at snow sculpting, you know. But I wish these snowballs were bigger. Uh, okay. So those, hang on, there's a snowball. That's added to the compendium. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, can we just roll it around? That is brilliant. Whoa, you're good at rolling snowballs. And I would know, I've got an eye for snow sculpting talent. So you said, let's be a team. Let's build something out of snow on this wooden pallet here. Yes, yes, Ritu. Now you're talking. What would you like to build? I mean, yeah, a snowman would be a good start, wouldn't it? Oh, look at it. <laughs> the size you can get. Okay, right. That's uh, that's quite big. Okay, can, can, we, can we grab that? Are we able... Oh, I don't think we can pick it up. I don't think we can pick that up. I think it... Oh, crikey. There's a lot. You have to move the mouse a lot. Okay, up onto that podium there. Okay, so... Hang on, hang on. Boo. And boop. There we go. So now do we need to just... Uh, yeah, hang on. Over to you. Right, there you go. Try to stack a few snowballs on that wooden pallet here. Uh, I mean, okay. Where Where's the other... That's, hang on, that's a tree. Uh, move that, that tree needed moving for tree reasons. Um, I think I might have possibly... Yeah, I think I used up all the snowballs to make that snowball. Oh, no, they're down here, look. There's loads down here in the river for some weird reason, but okay. Um, okay, come back out and then put that... Hang on a minute. Then go over here. Then put that back down. Right, so roll that around a bit. Just, you know, gather a bit of snow. Okie dokie. Then up... And then over. Ah, and then stick. Okay, that, that didn't go entirely according to plan. Hang on a minute. <laughs> grab, grab. Uh, no, this, okay, right. Grab the thing. No, that's a tree. Put that, okay, that got moved because of tree purposes. Pick that up. That's a tree. Put the tree back down. Why am I so obsessed with picking up trees all of a sudden? Grab the... We're going to grab a different snowball. That snowball looks like a good one. Yay for the snowball. Right, bring that over. Put that down do that and then yeah it just says stick look so hang on i need to bring that up put that over there and then stick okay and now that okay we've got okay oh okay do you know what that at least showed us that there is a sun and there is also a moon i suspect however that's not supposed to have happened <laughs> uh Right, okay. Oh, no, no, we've come back down. We've come back down. I think possibly the game went a bit wibbly there. It did It did some odd physics. It did some good old Bethesda physics thing, and everything went a bit weird. But okay, it's all fine. Oh, there's some ice cubes, look. They're on the list of things we need to go and investigate. Okay, <laughs> that did not go at all well. I'm I'm really rubbish at, do, at making a snow sculpture. I do apologise. We're going to try again. Hang on. So, try and drag that onto there, and then get another one. Oh, now the snowballs appear to have gone. Uh, oh, there's one there. There's one there. Okay, we'll, ha we'll just have you c come here. Come we're, we're having terrible problems with snow. Uh, okay, well, hang on. There's a blue plant there, though. I don't think we've looked at one of those before. Uh, a royal bluebell. Very nice. Um, can we grab? Can we grab that? I don't think we can. The game doesn't like us grabbing that thing anymore. Okay, right, hang on. Right. What we might need to do is, what we might have to do is, let's bail on that for now. So we've messed up the whole snow thing. What's that on there? Have you, have you littered? Soft drink added to compendium. Have you, he's littered, look. He's just chucked, no, 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 no. Hang on a minute, hang on. There's a bin down here. There's a bin. Do we need to put that in the bin? Can we put that in the bin? Just drop it in there. Okay, we missed, but it's nearer the bin. It, it's a bit nearer the bin than it was previously. Hang on, we're going to put that in the bin now. I'm determined to get that in the bin. Boop. Yes. Tidying up. There we go. We're helping. Uh, hang on a minute. Go back over here. Can we please change the weather? Back to sunny, because then the Texan fisher guy is going to be happy, because he can go fishing again, which is wonderful. He's going to be all jolly. So where is he? 
he is let's over the other side hang on a minute over there hello how are you is everything better now so talk to you after a fish you can borrow my fishing rod if you'd like oh i kind of thought that changing it back to make it hot would would satisfy you but no you still have a thing over your head ah okay uh, okay, right, hang on a minute, right, make it snowy again, let's get that done, right, so back to snow we go. Okay, so the game did have a little bit of a wobble there, it sort of got stuck between the two weathers, it kind of got stuck mid-transition between the sunny weather and the cold weather, and while I could see things were happening down on the ground, I couldn't really interact with anything, it just sort of had me stuck up on high looking down, and I couldn't move or do anything, I could see stuff, but I couldn't interact, so I had to go back out of the demo and then redo things again, so things might look a little bit different, because, you know, I couldn't quite recall exactly what things we'd interacted with and picked up and all that kind of stuff so things might look a little bit different but we are back at the same point we have to go and help the fisher guy over there and we have to try our best to go over here and build ourselves a snowman okay let's go over here look let's give this another go we should be okay with this this can't be that difficult surely so right Hello there, how are you? So, so much snow about us as Ritu. I'm actually an expert at snow sculpting, you know, absolutely. We've not proven that to be the case for ourselves, but I wish these snowballs were bigger. Okay, right, so we know we can roll these around and this is all fine. So here we go. Um, oh, there you go. Haven't even picked up the snowball yet. Whoa, you're good at rolling snowballs. I mean, yeah, just you wait until I put them on that wonky platform and I would know I've got an eye for snow sculpting talent. Okie doke. Let's be a team. Okay, right, so yeah, let's put the snowball thing onto here. Right, so we're going to try again and we're going to get this done this time. So I think, hang on, make it a little bit bigger, look. If that's going to be the snow body, let's try and get that on there, look. And then, boop. Okay, right, so that is nice and still. It's nice and stationary. It's not kind of rolling off or anything. Okie doke, right. Grab us another one of these. And this is kind of where it's fallen down so far. So, go like that. And then, right, that, you just, you, madam, you, okay, right, hang on a minute. Oh, hang on, well, hang on. Now I've stuck, now it has stuck to that but at a completely wonky angle, and it's not on the thing. Hang on, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> I can't believe that person just pushed it off. You, stay away from my snowman. Right, hang on a minute, hang on. So stick, we wanna kind of be raised up a little bit, don't we? Wanna be a tiny bit higher. So like, uh, it's hard to see with the angles here, because we kind of go see-through. Stick, aha, right, okay, okay. We have something that looks a little bit like a snowman. It's not perfect. And of course, we have our snowman vandal over there. It's going to possibly come and ruin things. Okay, so now, I think, if we nip down to ground level and have a little look around. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's okay. that's okay. That's not too bad. But we do need a carrot for a nose. And we know there are carrots over here somewhere because there's a little kind of allotment thing, which is good. So, okay. Are they the carrots over there? Yeah, All right. There's carrots there. So, grab us. I don't think we can grab things like that. Can right? Grab as a carrot. Okay, so whoop, there we go. Carrot added to compendium. And then, I think, do we just stick the carrot there? Yes. Oh my goodness me, we finally got there. We did it. That's it. Now for the finishing touches. Oh, okay, hang on. Hang on, you're doing magic stuff with snow. This is going to blow everyone away. It's going to be so realistic, so believable, that it's indistinguishable from the real thing. And voila. Hmm. Not bad, but I think we could have made something better. I'm going to let this one go. Be free! Oh, and there we go. Yeah, there's the uh, snowman character that we can interact with, and they appear in the little compendium thing. We make a good team. Let's do this again sometime. I mean, Ritu, Ritu, maybe you don't want us doing that again, because we were not very good at it. But okay, I admire your kind of confidence in us, even if it is a little bit kind of ill-placed. But okie doke, and there we go. We're an inspiration, thumbs up. Some magical smiley faces are going to fly in there, which is wonderful. There we go, Oh, up, all in. And we've now got back up to 35 inspiration points, which is wonderful. And we finally made the snowman at long last, without your help there, because you did cause a little bit of nuisance. But there we go, sorted, we've made a snowman. And of course, we can now go and have a little chat with you, which is wonderful, and you're called Snowpeg. Because, of course, you're a little wooden toy. You're kind of like a peg toy, so we called you Snowpeg. That's quite fun. So Snowpeg says, gee whiz, how do you do? My name's Snowpeg. I really appreciate you and Ritu making me just before. You're very welcome. You're very welcome, Snowpeg. She did a better job than I did, to be fair. 
you would not look quite as dapper as you do now if it was just left to me. My work was a little bit shoddy and rough around the edges, shall we say. You've already done so much, but if I could just ask for one more favour, I prefer it if we keep the weather on the cooler side of things. Well, see ya. That's a good point, isn't it? That's a good point. Because what happens to our new friend Snowpeg if we change the weather to sunny? Are you going to be okay? Are you going to melt? Oh dear. Okay, that could be quite bad. Right, hang on. Let's go and sort of just grab some more of these. So, uh, right, snow peg. Okie doke. Right, we've got that. And we went over here. We've got ourselves a carrot. Um, yeah, there's a few things we haven't picked up since I've kind of had to redo it all. So, I think we found a pear before, did we? And other bits and bobs. And then, yeah, snowball over there. Okay, I think we could possibly nip over here and find a few more things. Because are the mushrooms in there? No. Oh, hang on. Have we found one of those yet? Pluck that. No, there we go. So we can have one of those. I think. Hang on. Where's the other chappy that we need to help? Right. Where are you? Right. Over here. But currently, you can't do any fishing, of course, because the little kind of river you're fishing in is all frozen over. Um, yeah, on the reload of the game, the traffic is still as chaotic and as anarchic as it was before. Um, not so bad. I mean, down here is quite bad. Down here is quite bad. It's not looking great over here. More like a car park than a road, but okay. So, you know, some things have stayed kind of the same. Um, so, yeah, how can we do this? We're going to have to change the weather. We need it to be sunny. But, of course, what's going to happen to our new friend there? Oh, this is awful. We need to make a terrible, terrible decision. Right, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to pretend that inside this building there's like a great big walk-in freezer thing. Like, you know, big companies have to, you know, put meat and such like in. They have great big walk-in freezer things. Uh, we're going to have one of those, and we're just going to pop you inside there. Off camera, of course. So there we go. Right, you're inside it now, and now we don't feel so bad. Um, yeah, okay, we can talk to you. Hello, how are you? Hello again. What would you like to know about? Um, weather, inspiration, compendium, what should I know? Show me, <gasps> show me a magic trick. Yes, show me a magic trick. Do you want to see some magic? Yes, absolutely I do. I have a trick I can do, but you have to bring me an apple first. Anything else I can tell you about? Oh, hang on, hang on. I found apples earlier. I found some apples. They were over here somewhere. They were in, um, hang on. No, that that's a pear. And that's fine. That is good. That's good. Oh, I broke the vase again, by the way, upon the reload of the game, because I thought it was the right thing to do, because we did it before. There's a pear. I think the apples were... Where were the apples? Um, maybe, hang on. Hang on, it was a different, the weather was different. Hang on a minute, right. Um, Snowpeg is safely in the uh, walk-in freezer, obviously, hem hem. Right, let's give this another go, shall we? So, change the weather to sunny. So when I did it before, it kind of got to this point, and the thing went away, but then I couldn't do anything else. It, yeah, it kind of, it froze up in the sky. The little thing went away where it said sunny, well, to snowy, we'll try and change it to. And then that was kind of it. It kind of, I was stuck in the sky. Um, yeah, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, look, apples are now on that tree. Aha, right, okay, so there's different things. Right, so if we zoom out a bit, if we give you that and now talk to you. Okay, would you like to see a magic trick? Absolutely, I would. Oh, you've eaten the apple. Behold, as I turn this apple into, ta-da. Okay, that is quite impressive. That's quite impressive to bet. An eggplant. Unfortunately, I can't change it back. This is the only magic trick I can do, by the way. I don't really like eggplants either. Shame we don't have that apple anymore. Apples are my favourite thing. Okay. So we've now discovered Zoltan's favourite thing. Like a secret thing. And we're going to take that away from you. Because that means we can now get some things ticked off over here in the compendium. Oh, there we go. That was quite fun. That was good. And... We got a new flower as well, which is wonderful. Um, so now, the only thing we have to do is go and help you over here. But I'm not quite sure how we help you. I don't know what we have to do. After a fish, you can borrow my fishing rod if you like. Um, yeah, I mean, it says I lost the fishing rod. Uh, I think it's only across the other side. There you go. That's okay. I've got another one. Here you go. So you're just over here doing some fishing. I notice, uh, hang on, in the compendium, in this bit here, looking for, yeah, there are some fish. Uh, an animal that's found in large bodies of water. An animal found in small bodies of water. Um, a fluffy water container. Oh, that's a cloud. That's a cloud. Hang on, we can click on a cloud. We can get that done nice and easy. That'll be fun. And then that there is sort of weathered curiosity, often lost in waterways. Which does imply that we should go and 
find that as well. Hang on, what we're going to do first is we're going to zoom out as much as we can. I can't zoom out much more than this. Can we click on a cloud? Can we click on a cloud? Grab. Oh, squeeze. Uh, okay. Oh, we can make it rain. Oh, that's quite fun. And the cloud just kind of is is nothing. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's quite adorable. I quite like that. Hang on. Let's go and claim that. Yay for the cloud. Um, okay. So do we have to take that fishing rod and, and go fishing? Is that all we're supposed to do? So grab that and then... Okay, I don't know how exactly... Right, put it into the water because that, that's how the fishing works. And that... Okay, we've caught a fish. Not bad, kid. Hey, I'm looking to catch something special from this here river. If you catch something special, show it to me. Aha! Okay, can we can we give you that a fish? A fish? Nah, I ain't interested in that kind of thing. I'm um, looking for some more special than that. Why don't you try again? Okay. Right, hang on a second, hang on. So one was in small bodies of water... One said it was in large bodies of water. So do we now go fishing in... Hang on a minute. Once I've not crashed into the side. In this thing here. Do we go fishing in here? Uh, we have to sort of pull it around. Big fish. Okay, hang on. So detach the big fish. Can somebody put the big fish back in the water? I feel a bit bad that the fish is on the side. It's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Um, so now we've got fish. So a fish and a big fish. We've got 11 out of 11 on the nature thing. That's pretty good. That's quite encouraging. Um, and we've got all the city stuff. Uh, rubbish, only got one thing. There's one person. Oh, I didn't go and chat to the... Is it you? Hang on. Oh, hang on. I've just given you a thing that I didn't mean to give you. Was it you? Uh, I know, we didn't see you last time, I don't think. We didn't see you when we played it prior to the game crashing. It was you, I think, wasn't it? Was it you? Uh-huh. Yeah, there you go. We spoke about, we spoke to you before, didn't we? So there we go. So we've got all the people met. We've got all of the nature stuff, all the city stuff. I imagine we've got to find that. I mean, if we could go and find the rest of these things, that would be quite fun. A sweet drink that's somehow chewy. That's the soft drink, isn't it? Mushroom, a large fruit delivered in vans, cold drink, and a red food eaten in sunny weather. That's got to be a tomato of some kind, because that's an apple up there. They're drinks. That, yeah, that should possibly be tea. Um, that's an orange. That's a mushroom. That is, yeah, something delivered in vans. Something delivered in vans. Where's the van? Where's the van that we were helping? There you go, look. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Open. And, oh my goodness me. Right, many, many, many pineapples have fallen out of the van. Okay. Uh, right, hang on. And there's a thing. Can we click on that? Grab that. Okay, I'm determined to you know, sort of get everything we can now. I'm determined to just sort of, you know, tick all the boxes and finish things off. Um, okay, look around a bit more. What else can we possibly find? Uh, I mean, what's that? That's, that's like a soft drink. I think we've already found that. Is anybody carrying a coffee? Uh, yeah, there we go. Coffee, it wasn't tea, unfortunately. We're giving it to you. You're welcome. Hang on, so grab that. Grab that. Right, and then one more, and grab, oh, it's bubble tea. It was bubble tea. Uh, oh, okay. So it's not, oh, hang on a minute, hang on. You had some of this before, didn't you? You had a drink up here, and you littered it. Yeah, there we go, there we go, hang on, grab that. Uh, oh, was that the bubble tea, possibly? Drop it into the bit. I mean, that was quite a good shot, wasn't it? That was very impressive as trick shots go. Hang on, we're going to put it in the bin. Oh, we're going to try and put it in the bin. We did our best. Um... Okay, so we need to keep fishing for the special thing for him. But if we could get these done, so we need to make it go to wet weather. Yeah, so rainy, so we can possibly get an orange and get a mushroom. Okay, right, here we go. Please don't crash again, game. Please don't crash. I don't want to do it all again again. All right, so go to drizzle. So a little bit of rain. Um, yep, Snowman friend is still securely in the fridge. It's all fine. We've, we've got loads of things in there for him to do. TV and everything is brilliant. Right. So now over here, that tree probably has oranges on it. Okay. Mandarins. Okay. So lovely. Very nice. And then over here, I think it was, yeah, there, mushrooms. So then grab the mushrooms out of that. Okay. So that's two more things. Mushrooms, mandarins. Right, so only two more things. So a cold drink bought in shops and vending machines and a red food eaten in sunny weather. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on. Did we pick up the tomato before? I can't recall. Right, go back to sun. 
Go back to sunny weather. There we go. So pop back to lovely sunshine. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. And oh, I thought it was going to do it again. I was going to go, no, but no, here we are. Um, the It's over here, isn't it? The tomatoes are here. I think we did we grab them before. I can't quite recall now, but there we go. So we'll do that. You look surprised by that. Hang on, let me do that. Can I can I give you one of those? Can I give you that? There you go. Have one of the thanks for helping out with the veggie patch. They like to grow when it's sunny. Uh, when it's sunny, yes, indeed. We can find different flowers and things. Okay, so there's that. So all we need to do now is find the cold drink. Oh, there's Snowman Friend. Oh, you come back out. Wonderful. Um, the cold drink that can be bought in shops and vending machines. Um, have we seen a vending machine anywhere? Is that something we're supposed to go and look for? I don't know. It's a bit of a mess around here, isn't it? That's all quite disastrous. Oh, dear. Um, right, let's go and try and find that then. I mean, there's something here. Uh, hang on. Can we go down to the ground and have a look at that? What's that? That is... Ah, okay, that's nothingness at the minute. Oh, we can just walk through things, which we possibly shouldn't be able to. Um, oh, there. That's one, is it? Is that one? Grab. We can't... We, hang on a minute. We can't grab it because we are, uh, yeah, on our legs. So we obviously can't pick anything up. Right, grab that. There we go. Soft drink. Uh, yeah, just yeah, tidy up. Okay, trying to tidy up. Did that go in the bin? I'm not quite sure if it went in the actual bin. Right, okay. So now... We've got, hang on, that this is brilliant. So 11 out of 11, 11 for nature, 11 out of 11 for food and drink, 8 out of 8 for city stuff. We've met all the people, and there is one article of rubbish left for us to find, which I imagine is what he would like. He wants us to find that. So, okay, hang on. Um, show him anything special, you fish up. I lost the fishing rod. Right, okay, so we've got another one. Uh, right, take the fishing rod. Let's try fishing, I don't know, over here. Are we going to find anything fun? Just pull it around a bit. A boot. Boot added to compendium. That's the final thing. Okay. Are you interested in a boot by any chance? My favourite boot. Now, who threw that in there? Are you only wearing one boot? Because that would have been a bit of a clue. I didn't notice. Time to put you back where you belong. Thanks for your help, partner. Oh, no. He's not actually wearing any. But he, he might be, but we can't really see. And there we go. Sorted. All the little kind of happy faces coming to us. Oh, and there we go. That's the end of it. That's the end of the demo. Okay, so, yeah, so in the sort of full version, there's more world to... I mean, look at that. There's like a sort of a, a on-beach sort of drive-up-to-cinema thing, and there's a big park. So, <laughs> stand around awkwardly. <laughs> Customise the city. Oh, you can do building projects. Oh, that's quite exciting. Rubbish. Yeah, we did try to tidy up a little bit. We did try to tidy up as best we could. Change the world, absolutely. Uh, and then, yeah, more world, more mechanics, more wood, more weather. Unique weather states. That looks very blustery. That looks super windy. So maybe there's going to be that as well. New locations, a nice kind of beachy location. What's coming up next? Come on, come on, change, I can't do it. Silly stories. Okay, right, so we're back to there again. So there we go. We're going to go back to the demo because oh, we've discovered Tex's favourite thing. Now we can do this. We can click that. And there we go. All done. We have completed the compendium. It is all sorted. We've got nothing else to discover in the demo. We've helped everybody out and we've found all of the things, which is wonderful. And you know what? With that done, that does seem like a completely logical, brilliant point to wrap things up for now with that little look at the demo of Wood and Weather. And you know, this has been wonderful. It's just been a really lovely, adorable, charming, you know, quite laid back apart from the kind of game crash in the middle, but you know, a lovely laid back experience. And it's just fun. It's just a really fun game. It looks really lovely. I mean, look at it. It looks so sort of adorable. It's like playing with the kids sort of toy set. There's all the kind of building blocks and the little people are clearly little wooden people hopping around. You know, it looks really amazing. And I love the idea. I love the idea that we just go around and just you know, help people out with varying little problems they've got by changing the weather and doing various things. You know, we can sort of uh, use our amazing godly powers to help them move things around and such like. And I just think it's a lovely, really sort of happy, very friendly game where you can just sort of poodle about and just mess around. You know, there's things to go and find out, things to discover. And it's just very adorable. It's a very lovely game. And I'm glad we took the time to look at it. We might possibly 
maybe pop back to it at some point when it comes out into full release or whatever. I don't quite know when that is. There's nothing on the Steam Store page about it, but we might pop back to it because this has been a lot of fun. So I think, yeah, maybe we could come back to it and just maybe do another level or two and just see what happens there. But uh, yeah, we'll wrap things up for now because we have sort of come to the end of what we can do in the demo. Hopefully you have enjoyed this and I really hope you have because it's been a lot of fun to play. It's been really, really enjoyable. If you did enjoy it, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. We'll substitute the chicken broth with, how about some beer? The showstopper challenge is complete. And I think you will agree that is that is an absolute showstopper. That's a showstopper and a half. The jug is a little bit broken. Why have you turned up to Christmas dinner in a suit and tie? Okay, so put that down. No, not that, no, pick it up. Oh no, that's set the kitchen on fire. <laughs>